A Lincoln Park mother in a pretty rough spot after her car is stolen. And inside that car, a wheelchair for her special needs son. Jason Colthorpe spoke with her today about what happened. Jason? Devin, this is a single mother of three. She's been dealing with her son's epilepsy almost his entire life, 23 years. And at this point, she's just hoping whoever did this has a soul and at least gives back the wheelchair. We have a really special life here. Really hard to keep afloat. If Tracy Rimka sounds a little out of sorts, it's because she is. Her whole world is taking care of her 25-year-old son, Michael, who has epilepsy. It's been a long road. And he's, he's been a fighter through it all, and the brain surgery was horrible. There isn't much Rimka and her three kids, plus a grandchild, can do without. Yet Monday night, her 1997 white Jeep Cherokee, partially seen here, was stolen with Michael's vital wheelchair inside. It was upside down with the big wheels, like they could see it. It's so important because Michael's seizures can knock him right off of his feet. You don't even have time to have a seizure, you just drop which if whatever's in the way you drop onto, so it's deadly. He's broke his neck even. He just got 13 stitches out of his forehead from his most recent episode. And without that wheelchair, it's tough to do just about anything like walk him around or feel safe. It takes away my security, which is like each day is, it, is this going to be the head hit that's going to end it all. Now, Jason, unfortunately, stolen cars don't really have all that great a rate of return, do they? They really don't, Devin. But I, in talking to Lincoln Park Police today, they say, you know, they've had some cars turn back up, even with the belongings in there. The, the way they put it to me, though, is it, it takes time. So yeah. if anybody has any information about this, step up and call Lincoln Park Police if they have any knowledge of this. And one, one more question. Was there, does she have insurance on it? She does, actually. She has insurance on the car and everything inside. The problem is she's not, the car's not going to be worth a whole lot, and she's not yeah. sure what she'll be reimbursed for the wheelchair. And to buy a new one, she's worried could cost up to $1,500. Yeah. And it's yeah. taking some time as well. So each day is a struggle without those things. It sure is. All right, Jason.